Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today I'm with Ernest and TY from Amaze. Now, they brought along a super cool virtual reality camera, and we're gonna be filming some of my favorite past experiments using this camera in virtual reality. Now, if you have one of these, you need to stop watching this video immediately and go download the Amaze app on the Oculus Store because we're gonna include some super cool, like, interactive features, kind of like choose your own adventure type with this video. So go watch it over there if you can. If not, I don't know, what do you guys wanna do? The cannonball. Rocket knife. Laser gun! Woohoo! Let's yeah, get let's started. Do this. Okay, we've got the mouse trap all set up. We've got the watermelon here, and now I'm gonna pull the bar back, way back here, and lock it into place. Now all I gotta do is pull in the string, and it'll tighten the springs, and I'll let it go and smash the watermelon. Well, yep, that definitely smashed it. And it looks like some of the watermelon hit the slow motion camera over there. So let's check out that slow motion video right up here. All right, that looked awesome. So now let's try the same setup, but with a row of lighters instead and see if we can get them to explode. Okay, I've got the row of lighters set up and we have some sparklers lined up alongside on the outside edge. So I'm gonna light the sparklers and then pull this back so when it comes down, the gas will explode, hit the sparklers which will ignite it, giving us a big explosion, hopefully. All right, let's try it. There we go, put it in there. I'm gonna light these. Okay, let's pull it in. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I think I think we got all of them. Let's check it out and see if we got them all on the high speed. Alright, that was pretty awesome. Let's see what else we can get into. Look at how hot that is. Crazy. Oh, oh wow, gotta be quick with that. Holy cow. Oh. Wow, look at how hot this is. Even getting it close to the styrofoam makes it start to melt. Let's try it. Okay, are you ready? Here I go. Whoa! Whoa, look at it go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I gotta tilt it. Go it falls down the middle. I gotta tilt it. Whoa! Oh my gosh. And it's still hot enough to go again. Wow, oh my gosh. That stinks so bad. Stinks so bad. Oh, it's raining melted styrofoam too. Check it out. Uh -oh. I gotta get out of here. It stinks way too bad. All right guys, now we're gonna do some more rocket knife because I know a lot of you guys asked for it. So we're gonna do it in virtual reality. Here we have our rocket knife and down there we have some meats that we're going to cut up and later some beers that we're going to cut up for our barbecue because that's perfectly normal, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Put the rocket knife in here. Light it and I'm going to go run and hide behind that tree. All right, I lit it. Here we go. Rocket 
That cut pretty much everything in half. We got maybe, oh uh, wow. I think that cut like almost everything in half. Look at this. Uh, let's see what it cut in half on the high-speed camera. Now let's cut some beers. All right, it could do everything but one little chicken leg at the end. So now we're gonna be trying the rocket knife versus a full 12 pack of beer. Let's see if it can cut through every single one, all right? Here we go, let me light it. All right, I'm gonna light it now. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind the tree. All right, three, two, one. Well, we didn't quite manage to cut through all of them. Let's check that out in high speed because I think that we had a rocket malfunction, all right? Let's check it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of the rocket exploded pretty much instantly as soon as it got lit, but you know, that's okay. I guess we'll just have to finish the rest of these the old fashioned way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one of my favorite videos, which is the liquid nitrogen versus the flamethrower. So Ernest is gonna help me out. He's gonna be the flamethrower. Uh, I got the liquid nitrogen here. Let's fill it up, pour it into here. Let's wait till it's full. Oh, there's a lot in here. I don't think you stand a chance. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe some more just for good luck. Wow, that's cold. Okay. That's awesome. I'll wait for this to cool down a little bit. Gosh, my glove is like frozen. <laughs> Give it a test. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Uh, more power! Oh. Yeah. Ah, liquid nitrogen, victorious. Well, I mean minus my hand, that kind of lost. Uh, another match? Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That time I had a lot of pressure built up, 40 PSI on the gauge. This is it right now at 20, so now it's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> ah. I'll do the same, but I'd be a little afraid of what happens. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's frosty. To celebrate the success, we're gonna pop open a bottle of champagne using the ultrasonic cleaner. Using this bottle of champagne and placing it in here, turning it on, the ultrasonic cleaner should create thousands of miniature bubbles on the inside of the champagne. Those bubbles will attract more bubbles and it'll go exponentially crazy until we get a geyser of champagne reaching up into the trees. So I'm gonna shake it up, put it in here, turn it on, let's see if it works. All right, here we go, champagne geyser in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh man. All right, that went way up there into the trees. Let me unplug this. Let's check that out on the slow motion camera, see how high it went.
All right, let's go back and see what other trouble we can get into. Okay, uh, let's not do that again. Wow. Check this out. Whoa. Let's see if you can see the beam. Can you see that? Be careful not to get it into your eyes. You know, and it's so powerful I can like, I can shoot this and it'll start smoking. I don't know if you can see that from over there, but there's smoke over there. Check out the beam if I shine it this way. Can you see the individual beams there? Wow. So this is pretty cool. Just don't let it touch your skin either. Awesome. All right, to wrap this up, we're gonna try some steel wool stuff. First, let's try spinning the steel wool on a spring and we'll light it with a torch. Now, you gotta be careful with this stuff because these sparks are burning at like 2000 degrees. And if they get on you, it really hurts. Oh, ow. Oh man. Are you okay? Ah, oh, I got myself there too. All right, well, let's try the drone now. Okay, let's do it for the drone. Wow, that was pretty crazy. Did you see it go all the way up there and all the sparks fell right down? Wow, I'm glad that wasn't me. So that was pretty fun. Uh, let me make sure there's no fires and then let's go back into the garage, okay? Cool. Oh man, you gotta go? Hey, well, I guess that's fine. We had a bunch of fun blowing stuff up today. See you next time, bye.